So your aircon stopped working. Yeah, it just went pop. So then he, anyway, I rang the instruction fellow in the meantime. I said, yep. you know, how, what could be wrong? He said, there is another uh, Clipsal safety switch inside the machine. There is. So yeah. I did that. I opened it. I put that on. Yep. For the moment we turn it on, it went off again okay. two or three times. So something is tripping that yeah, okay. internal switch. So something's shorting inside, I think. No worries. All right. So, so I'll go around like and have a look. It was working fine before. Yeah. Like, you know, no problem at all. And it was just all of a sudden. Yeah, all of a sudden it just went. Fair enough. It wasn't a stormy day or like you know, normal sort of weather. Yeah. But, Some, uh, something has given way, so. Yeah. That's all right. I'll go and work out what that is. Have a look, yeah. And we'll go yeah, from it's there. Open anyway. yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Need actually having another safety device inside. Yeah, so that's hello. Hello, uh, Mitch. That one is for the main power. That's for the main. And this this is one's just for, that. just for the control circuit. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So that's what's clicking off. So sort of inside that that was fine outside. Okay. Yeah. So um, anyway, we'll open it up yeah, and yeah. work out what's going on. Ours is working perfect, Mitch. Ours is working perfect. Beautifully. <laughs> Good job. So in that part there, you'll find the bolt shot. Yeah, so there's a little bit. So what, what actually happens with that bolt? Take it out. No, no. Okay, I'm not going to use it. What? I'm not going to use it. I already took the screws out of the bottom. Okay, so um, everything's got power, that doesn't, so something's tripped that out. So today's service call will just be a process of elimination, finding out what's faulty coming off the control board. It's not the compressor, because that would take out the main circuit breaker. It's something after the control circuit, uh, circuit breaker. So. The first thing I'm going to do is just make sure that that's not faulty, because that can be. And then, I guess the next thing I'll do is just see if this um, crankcase heat is faulty. Alright, let's do it. This was simple because we just done ours. Yeah, so That's why we knew. We didn't have to keep going back and read this. Yeah, so if you ever need to transport it, you know it fits in the boot of your car, you just just need this part. And that was good they got Yeah, put it in. And it was good they got rid of the box for you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Have you got a big issue here? I've got a good TA. I've got a good TA. Yeah, yeah, you have, isn't it? I'm a trade woman. What happened? 
Any luck with it? Oh, I'm just going to, I'm sort of in the process of diagnosing oh, now. Okay, you haven't actually come to the way. Not, so not yet. Uh, I turned it on. Yeah. And after about 15 seconds, it just trips off trips again. Trips off, yeah. So something is causing it to trip. I think it just could be water or no? I think it might be a bit more than that. Yeah. But I'll, um, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'm just going, disconnecting stuff now and, and then try, it out, try yeah. it out. Yeah. So it won't be long and we'll have an answer. So the only reason I've disconnected that is to confirm that the circuit breaker isn't faulty because believe it or not I've had that before but that doesn't seem to be faulty so it's something on the control circuit not that just something on the control circuit Okay. Okay, so when I got here, the customer was around. Um, but anyway, I opened it up. That was off, but there was power everywhere else. I turned that back on, and after about 10 seconds, it tripped out again. So all I've done so far is disconnect the power cable just to confirm that that isn't faulty because I've chased my tail for a long time before just to come to the conclusion that that was faulty. So I like to eradicate that straight off the bat. The second thing I'm going to do is disconnect the crankcase heater because I've had one of them be faulty before as well. So the power goes up and pretty sure it goes to that. So I know that something's tripping this after this, which is something to do with the control circuit and that's wired into the control circuit which I don't normally do it that way but they have <laughs> so yeah I'm going to disconnect the crankcase heater now turn it back on and see if it trips They're pretty complex these things, isn't it? Yeah, there's a little bit going on in here. Is it? Oh. I oh, just like, I'm just talking about there's a lot of cables and stuff, oh, so right, yeah. that's all right. Just whenever something's tripping, yeah. it's just a little bit of a process of elimination. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you just got to do it, go through the process of disconnecting Different things states, that, yeah. that you suspect might be the issue. So it takes a little bit of time. Look. All right. 
disconnected. Okay, so that tripped again. So that means that the crankcase heater isn't faulty. So I'm just going to reconnect. Reconnect the neutral. Okay, so with these boards, you have the main power coming into the contactor and the power comes off and they put a little circuit breaker there and then that power out of the circuit breaker comes to this board. So the first thing I did was make sure that that's not faulty. That's what I always do first. The second thing I did is to make sure the crankcase heater, crankcase heater wasn't faulty because it's nice and simple to do that, just disconnect it. Um, so the third thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect the power coming out that goes to the indoor unit. If I turn it back on and it doesn't trip out, that means that the problem is probably the indoor fan motor up in the uh, roof cavity. Um, so the reason why I'm doing that now is to eliminate that whole side. If it still trips out, then I know that the problem is something out here. But only something on the control circuit. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the power out and um, yeah, see what happens. Obviously, just being a bit safe here and just making sure that there's no power. I hope it isn't the indoor fan because I don't want to get in the roof. Alright, so I've disconnected the power going out, up into the roof. Power on, see if it trips.
All right, that hasn't tripped. So that means that it's the indoor fan motor most likely that is causing the problem. So looks like I'm getting in the roof. Let's plug this back in. Neutral out. Slide back in, now I'm dropping in the roof. First things first, have a drink of water. It's so hot here. Straight in the fridge. Straight in the fridge so it's cold when I get out of this roof. It's a bit hard to film because the customer is watching me, but um, he's a, he's a nice guy, he just wants to watch. But um, all I wanted to say was before I get in the roof, always make sure that you close the panel on the outdoor unit so no one comes and turns the power on whilst you're on the roof working on it. Um, I know it sounds stupid, but it's happened to me before. I don't trust anyone. Okay, so no time to waste up here, it's that hot. It's like 30 plus degrees today and I'm up in a roof. What the fuck? You can tell somebody's been here because they've left soft drink. Right, we got So I've just taken the top off and um, the fan mode is not seized, but we're going to disconnect it and um, go turn it on, run the whole system, like compress it and everything, and if it doesn't trip out, then that confirms that it's this. So 
Um, down there, I confirmed that the problem was up here somewhere. But it could be this PC board, for example. So I just want to now determine that it's this specifically. So I'm going to disconnect it and um, get out of here. Turn it on. Okay, so like I said, I've confirmed that the problem is like I disconnected this cable coming to this board. Um, so I know that the problem's up here. It might be the board, it might be a zone motor, who knows. I'm going to disconnect the fan motor and um, then, yeah, once I disconnect the fan motor, I'll go downstairs and turn it on. Hi. Medium. It is so hot up here, man. I am sweating profusely. doing this to make sure it doesn't hit any of the terminals. I don't know if you can hear but there's a party next door. Go outside. phone doesn't stop ringing ever. It hasn't tripped yet, so... Let's go turn it on without the fan motor connected. So the compressor just started, she's all good, she's good, she's good, alright, turn it off, rip this fan motor out, indoor fan motor. That uh, socket set doesn't go small enough. 
of these. It is seriously so hot. I normally just leave all the screws and bolts in there and I know where everything goes so yeah take this one out all right so I'm back home now um it was so hot in that roof but I got the fan out and I just want to show you something so I've just put the negative or the earth side of my mega on the bolt on the motor and I'll show you something fully down to earth every single winding so this is definitely the problem now all I gotta do is um, get a new motor so it's hard to see and I couldn't be bothered getting a torch but everything in here is like nice and clean copper windings and there it's all black so something's happened but I'm gonna get a new fan motor change the fan motor over go back put it back in so that was, that was done